Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want to say a big thank you to our Father. Thank you so much, sir, and our mother for the honor to be here and our precious leadership of RCN. Can we lift up our hands and just pray? Just say, Lord, today is the third day of this conference. The Bible says after two days, it will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up. And we will dwell in his presence. Can you just pray and say, Lord, tonight, tonight is a third night. The song they just sang said, Lord, I want to burn for you. Lord, we want to burn for you. We want to burn. We want to burn. We want to burn. We want to burn. Can you make that your cry tonight? I say, Lord, we want to burn. We want to burn. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. 19 says, quench not the fire of the spirit. And 20 says, despise not prophesying. There's something that prayer does to our spirit. It says, pray without ceasing, quench not the fire of the spirit, and despise not prophesying. It means prayer kindles the fire of the spirit in your life so that you can enter a prophetic environment in God. So that eyes that see can be given to you. Pray without ceasing. Quench not the fire of the spirit. We want to say, Lord, let the fire be kindled tonight. Let the fire of the spirit be kindled. Let the fire of revival be kindled in our spirit tonight. And let our eyes burn. Let our spirit burn. Let us live as a prophetic army. He said, despise not prophesying. It means the more you pray, the more the fire is kindled. The more the prophetic atmosphere open. Palamando rababaskada. La patalia barate. Afila paraninos. Latia baradas. Can you pray and say, Lord, kindle the fire again. Kindle the fire. Kindle the fire. Alabasada baratas. Sadiambo la baratata. Akabandia sabelate. Ariamama sabalantala. Rakababantalia babo. Oh, Sabambantela. Rabababalabalata. Bless the Lord, O ye servant of the Lord. Who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Bless his holy name. Oh, Satapa, Rakababantai, Akubabalasanda, Ramina Masika Babante, Afilai Kobalai, Arabeba Samanta, Rababasaka Babonda, Radia Sabantai, Akibobobo Sababalata, Ayabando Lababo. La Baba Sanda Bandiata Rada da 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 Rada da 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 Sadadaya Akamamando Balatai Asabantala Brondo Brondo Suka Babantai Raga Babalata Babo Akababandiata Baba As we pray, I see the Lord kindling this fire. Killing this fire, Zalia Takoba, Rabalanto Kabilata, Abo Baba Samantala, Rabila Mandalia Kababo, Aya Baba Sandala Branda, Rababa Sata Babalata, Rakababala Balada Babo, Rababa Sanda Bandata, Yakababala Tataya. Oh, oh, Sabala, Rababa Sika Banta, Rebaba Siba Balabalata, Alabranda Baba Balabadaska, Rababa Babalianda Sababo, Rababa Bandalia Tababa Balata, 
Because the ministry of prayer creates an environment for prophetic believers to rise. For a prophetic company to rise. Before Samuel will build the school of the prophet in the earth of Rabbah. The Bible says there he built an altar unto the Lord. He built an altar unto the Lord. And from the levels of his altar, the Bible says he brought the word of the Lord from Ramah to Bethsheba, to Bethel, to Gilgal, and throughout Israel. From Ramah, from Ramah, where he built an altar to the Lord. That's where the voice of the Lord came from. Ikababando balabalasa. Zamina masandi ako. Akababalatalia. Rababasanda bababo. Akamamamamamandalia toka. Ikababalabaras. In Revelation chapter 9 verse 13. Revelation chapter 9 verse 13. He said, and the sixth angel sounded, and I hear a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God. He said, when the sixth angel sounded, I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before the Lord. That means the voice of the Lord comes from the altar. The voice of the Lord comes from the place of priesthood. Tonight, I want us to pray. There is an atmosphere of the spirit that God is creating. And it's a desire of God that we will live here from the ministry of the altar. And a new season of the prophetic will open up. A new impartation. John said, I heard a voice coming from the phones of the golden altar which is before the Lord. It means the more you stay carrying out your priestly responsibility by the altar, the more you are open to the voice of God. When you carry out the demands of your priesthood, the voice of God will not be scarce in your life. And so God calls us to a life of prayer so that as we stay by the altar, we will see what God is doing. We will hear the sounds of eternity and we will release the voice of God into the earth. Alabano mo sababata ikababalande ali amamando rababasata sakababandiata oh si babatamo akababandia balatola arade do sababante if you can sit down please sit down ale barababos but just pray in the Holy Ghost. You can sit down. Keep playing. Imano masiva vahai koba. Atekombre di lavata. I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar. I heard a voice. I heard a voice. The Lord is saying, people that will hold on to the horns of the altar in this conference. You will find out that a new season open up in your life. That in every moment you will know the mind of God. You will know the oracles of God. The voice of God will not be scarce in your life. You will have what it takes to navigate seasons. Oh, Mamo Sababata, we are brought in this week so that we can be sentenced to the life of prayer, so that we can be sentenced to the ministry of the altar. For men ought always to pray. And not to faint. Can you say, I hold on to the horns of the altar? I hold on to the horns of the altar. And as long as I do, the voice of God will not be scattered in my life. I will know what to do part time. I will know what to do in every season. Can you give me a little more sound by the feedback? Technica. Obalaba Sadiando Rabakasia Ifanimo Sabrakate. While I was praying, I could hear the Lord says there's a strong revival prayer anointing. There are three kinds of prayer anointing I see. God is re releasing a revival prayer anointing. 
God is releasing a prophetic prayer anointed. God is releasing warfare prayer anointed. Warfare prayer anointed. That as you are revived, you will bear the word of the Lord. And you will war to bear the purposes of God. That warrior revivalists will rise. Warrior revivalists. Warrior revivalists. Men who know how to war in the spirit to bear revival in their territories. Men who know how to war in the spirit to bear the purposes of God. Ola Bataya. Samuna me kobayate. Afino mo subre ketila. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. O beketemo. Rababande kutababo. Ila momo sabalino sevre ketai. Iko brande subabalatea. Ikababombre tilo fani no sika. Ikababora. I see the Lord kindling his flames tonight. I see the Lord kindling his flames tonight. Come on, mon si vevele le coba. Ikababoria sombre gediska. That where you are seated, something is coming on you. Something is coming on you. Something is coming on you. There is a flame that you are going to live with. There is a flame. There is a flame. There is a flame. There is a flame. There is a flame for you. There is a flame for you. Oh, my come mele borabasida. Ikababala suna malatai. Ikobrande sapande kutababo. Um, because of time. Oh, Ramama Masiande. Sili Vianamo Sevela Giabados. While I sat there, I was praying. The Lord showed me. I saw somebody who came out of this country. And you are having to deal with tumor. And the Lord shows me that the tumor is malignant. You are having to deal with tumor. And there's a history of several people with this tumor, with this tumor in your families. I'm seeing, I'm seeing even a few persons that this tumor had, had, had come to cut off. And you were coming and you were telling the Lord that I want to be healed in this conference. You were coming that I, as Apostle Aramon ministers, you want to be healed. And the Lord shows me tonight that he's dealing with that demon. That demon that is responsible for this tumor in your family. Not just with you. He will cut it off from your family. If you are that person, wherever you are, I want you to wave your hands. I want you to wave your hands. I want to see that person. The Lord says he's going to cut it. Cut it. Where are you? He's going to cut it from your family. He's going to remove that tumor. That tumor from your family. He's going to remove it. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is going to end that tumor tonight. 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 I want to pray for you. Oh, Lamono Messi is here. Are you the one? Come. Oh. That demon that came into your family through sorcery that has brought this tumor on several people. Tumor that spreads, that cuts off the lives of people. I want to pray for you. Please come quickly. And not just her. I see a few person. The Lord says, I want to deal with, with tumors and cancers. Tumors and cancers. Tumors, cancers. If you are in that category, come. Tumors and cancer. You got that? Tumors and cancer. We want to pray. There is a healing presence. Oh, Bele Bosita. In the last two years, we've seen the Lord heal several people of cancer. Jesus. I want to attend to you specially. Can you wave your hands? Where did you come from? From London. London. I want you to put your hand where it is. Where the tumor is. God is judging it tonight.
God is judging it tonight. Listen to me. The Lord says there will be no mastectomy. He said there will be no mastectomy. He said I'm judging it tonight. Because I'm seeing that it has taken away two people in the family. The Lord says I will end it tonight. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Jesus. Father, we judge that devil. We judge that altar. Break! That altar that I brought two months. To cut off the lives of people in your family. Today we arrest that demon. We cut it off. 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 In the name of Jesus. We declare deliverance. Let it be uprooted from your body. Let it be uprooted from your family. We end the pattern. And we break the yoke. In the name of Jesus. We break the yoke. In the name of Jesus, we declare you are delivered. Be healed. Touch. Touch. Jesus. 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 There will be no surgery. Jesus. Put your hands there. Father, I judge them tonight. You say tonight you are crossing tumors. You are crossing cancers. I command them, let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Touch, 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 touch. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What's wrong with that? Cancer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I arrest you, demon of cancer, and I command you, break your hold of her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and I bring you healing from the presence of Jesus. You demon of affliction, let her go now. Lose her. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare you will leave. You will leave. And no weapon fashioned against you shall be able to prosper. Leave. Leave. In the name of Jesus. Touch. Jesus. 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 I hear the Lord say there's a walking of miracles. Walking of miracles. Walking of miracles. Walking of miracles. The demon responsible are bound. And your hold that broken tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You know I had a dream. Sometime last year. And the Lord came to me. And I was taking like. I saw people laid on. Like stretchers. They were wheeled into the surgery. Surgery room. And as I entered there, I saw that there was an angel there. And I saw written cancer. And the Lord showed me, said, this is the angel that comes to deal with cancer. I don't know if, before that time, if there's a special angel that deals with cancer. But from that dream, when I woke up, there was something he planted in my heart. He said, this is the angel that deals with cancer. And from that day, I prayed and I've seen cancer here. Somebody... That they did surgery for on the both breasts. And she went back. The cancer had spread. And the doctor said, come back and treat this time. The only way out is to cut it off. And we pray. And she went. And the doctor said, we can't find any cancer. And from that day, I saw people with cancer of the colon. Strange cancers in their body die. After that dream. He said, this is the angel that deals with cancer. And when I sat down there, while the... The, 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 the worship team was ministry. Suddenly the Lord brought that dream to my heart again. And he spoke to me about the person that I started ministry with. I tell you, receive your miracles tonight. Receive your miracles tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. This lady. Even that being that comes to oppress you in the nights. That oppress you. That comes to molest you. Tonight you are delivered. Tonight you are delivered. The oppression ends. The oppression ends. 
and I see something planting around the stomach, the Lord removes it tonight. Something in the stomach. It moves. Look at me. It moves around your stomach. I declare they are all uprooted. They are uprooted tonight. Tonight is your night of deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are here. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 There's someone I saw this evening. I know the Lord healed people's ears this morning. But there's someone you had a dream. And in the vision, somebody pierced something to your ear. In the dream. And after you woke up, you found that you couldn't hear with that ear. If this is the exact experience that you have, I want you to wave your hand. If you are here present, somebody pierced something to your ear in a dream. And when you woke up, you couldn't hear with that ear. If you are here, I want to pray for you. The Lord speaks specifically about this person. Or you are online. Tonight, I declare that that ear opens. I declare that that ear opens. I declare your ear opens tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You know, sometimes on the 17th of March, I was praying in my room and I just had an inner vision. And the Lord gave me part of the message to speak to someone here. And even though I could make effort, maybe reach Papa to be able to get in touch with the person. But every time I tried to do that, I just felt that the Lord didn't want me to do that at that time. And, and, and today the Lord begin, began to give me the full, full picture of that. And, and it's you, Bishop John C.W. Um, the Lord asked me to deliver this word to you. I, I saw you standing with your wife. And I saw you were meeting with somebody that is very prominent and somebody that is in government. And the person's name is Rachel. And I saw you were discussing about like, like a ministry, a foundation sort of to empower women. To empower women, like a woman empowerment ministry foundation sort of. And I saw that your wife is supposed to lead that. Is supposed to lead that. Is there something on ground like that? I'm seeing that your wife is supposed to lead that. And the Lord tells me that Rachel is going to play a very cardinal role in this season. I don't know who that is, but the Lord tells me the name specifically that you know the person. That Rachel is going to play a specific role. Because I'm seeing you and your wife not just in church doing it. I'm seeing it becoming like a nationwide um, I mean, I mean project. Empowering women moving from your city to different cities. I even saw you like in the coastal region, like in a place called Malindi. As far as those places, you know Malindi. I saw the Lord moving that. And the Lord says, as you go back, you're going to watch the seasons open. And as I looked, I saw that that supposed foundation that was supposed to mean to equip women opened the door for churches to be planted in some part of your nation. And God says, watch and see, as you go back, there's going to be resources. There's going to be provisions. Because I'm seeing building. I'm seeing building. I'm seeing you building. I'm seeing you laying foundation also for churches. And God says, that's what I'm going to begin to do as you leave this conference. Says the Spirit of God. Please, you can go back to your seat. Please, thank you. And, uh, I don't know if there's someone listening to me with a name like Jane Smith. Jane Smith. Jane Smith. I was praying and the name came to me, Jane Smith. If there's someone with the name Jane Smith, I want to pray for you if, if you're here. Jane Smith. Jane Smith. And the Lord gave me a specific word. So I want to find out who that is. I want to find out who that is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you. Pastor Ohi is with your wife. The Lord asked me to tell you.
Particularly, I saw that your wife have, have had a particular dream a couple of times. And the Lord said, if I say this, you will understand. He says for me to tell you to get ready that Samuel is coming. He said, you have had this dream repeatedly. That if I say it, you will understand. And while the Lord said that to me, I looked and I saw that you were doing like a project. And in the vision, what I saw was like a summer season. Like a movie project, you know, the ministry, movie stuff you do. And I saw that around the U.S. And it's supposed to be like in the summer season, summer season. And there were several people that you were doing this project with. But there's someone particular that the Lord asked me to say that you need to watch out for. And the Lord says, watch out for this person. I'm not saying everybody you meet in that city is going to be this person, but watch out particularly because I saw like someone in Texas. And the Lord says, watch out, put your eyes on, Tex on Texas because I see that there's someone that will call on you for partnership. And the Lord says, you need to be careful because the person will attempt to exploit you. Will attempt to exploit your labor. And the intent is to bring you great loss. And the Lord says, put your eyes on on Texas. I don't know all the details, but the Lord was very specific with that. So put your eyes on Texas. I don't know what this means for you if you've done project around there, but I'm seeing that and the Lord says this which it shows me has to do with like the summer season. The summer season. And this is the word of the Lord for you. This is the word of the Lord for you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can you pray in the Holy Ghost where you are? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So perhaps you find anybody with the name that I mentioned, please let me know. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we give you glory. Jesus, we give you glory. There is someone I see. You came into this conference with blood, with the flow of blood. The Lord says his power is coming upon you right where you are. And that fountain is going to dry up. That fountain is going to dry up. That fountain is drying up now. It's drying up now because the power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. The power of God is coming on you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch. 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 Jesus. 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 There's someone I see because... I'm seeing that the Lord opens a healing season from tonight, from this morning. A healing season to the end of the conference. There is a healing flow. There is a healing flow. I'm seeing somebody, you had an accident. And it was as though you had a fracture somewhere between your knee and like your hip bone. And even though you seem to have recovered, but the pain comes and it can be so excruciating and you find it very difficult to walk upright. And even when you came into this conference, you were feeling the pain so much when you sat down. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. You were feeling the pain so much. Come. Come. It was as if the devil waited for you to come for this conference and the pain became so intense. So intense. Between this place and here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the pain to go right now. Let the power of God come into your bones. Let your hip bone be healed. Let there be total healing now. Touch, 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 touch. Healed by the hand of God. Let your bones be healed. Let your bones be healed. You will rise up and you will find out that the pain is gone. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. And you too? Where? 
Put your hands there. Yeah? Put your hand there. I command the pain right now. Go. Be healed. Let your bones be touched. Touch. 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 Jesus. Heal. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now touch the place. Hit the place hard. Hit it hard. Bend. Do what you couldn't do before. Healing is the children's bread. Do what you couldn't do before. And tell me what has happened. Do what you couldn't do. Check, my dear, what has happened to you. You can't feel the pain anymore. What has happened? Huh? You can't feel the pain anymore. And you, ma, you can't feel it anymore. Huh? Is releasing. You are totally healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want mommy to check herself. Check herself. She's under the weight of God's presence. Just check. You will find out that that bone is totally healed. Totally healed. Totally healed. Totally healed. Do what you couldn't do before. You are healed. Healing is a children's bread. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see that? Can you see that? What has happened to you? Huh? She says she's very surprised the whole pain disappeared. Your healing is permanent. You were feeling the pain. I felt it. You were feeling it very strong before you came out. You are totally healed. Can we celebrate Jesus? Your healing is permanent. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That lady there with the long hair. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Yes. Can you stand? Yes, you looking at the back. Stand. I'm seeing the Lord doing something in your body. I'm seeing a miracle that the Lord is doing in your body. There is, some, there is a healing right now that the Lord is doing. And as the Lord does the healing, there's also a deliverance. I see him breaking that yoke of oppression. That yoke of oppression. There is a strange being that comes to oppress you. Even in the seasons of the night. And the Lord said, today you are delivered. Lift up your hands. Tonight the yoke is broken. Tonight the yoke is broken. Let her go now. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. And there's something that has to do with hormones that the Lord is healing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Having to do with hormones. Do you know what I'm saying? You know it. Come. I want to lay my hands on you. The Lord is doing a miracle that I have to do with hormones. See, I'm doing a total miracle. It says the report of the doctor will not come to pass in your life. It says there's a miracle. Father, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be total healing right now. Heal! By the hand of God. Heal. Let the power of God reach into your blood. Into your blood streams. And even into your hormones. Let there be a miracle. And the Lord says you will carry your children. You will carry your children. Oh, thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. I'm seeing someone. I'm seeing a lady with a husband. You've made attempts to do, uh, I'm asking the Lord for more details so that I don't have to mention all that I'm seeing, but you've attempted even IVF. And I'm seeing you've made up to like three attempts and it did not work. And the Lord says, he wants to give you people a miracle tonight. And I'm seeing that you came in with your husband. He said he wants to give you, I saw particularly that you've been crying and the Lord says, he wants to give you a miracle tonight. If you trust him wherever you are, just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. There is a miracle for you tonight. There is a miracle. There is a miracle. There's a miracle. The Lord says he's giving you and your husband a miracle tonight. A miracle. A miracle. A miracle. Would you want me to pray for you? Can you come? 
I know it may look like something that you don't want to be spoken of socially, but the Lord just asked me to do this. Last year I was ministering in, in Brazil and I looked in the congregation and I said there was someone with the name Maria and Maria has been married for seven years without a child. And the Lord gave me a particular name that this is a name of the child that Maria has been carrying the child in the dream. He said, pray for Maria and tell her that by this time next year, she's going to have Samuel in her hand. And I left in August. By October, Evangelist Peter called me and was sharing. I said, there's so much rejoicing among the pastors because she's pregnant after seven years. And he's a son. And they are expecting that in the next, maybe any moment from now. And I looked in the spirit and the Lord says, there are people who came into this conference trusting him for children, trusting him for miracles. And I saw like a little place, like, like a crutch. That's the only way I can call it. And I saw several babies. And the Lord says there is a working of miracles and he's giving people babies. He's releasing the fruit of the wombs of people. He's releasing the fruit. He's releasing the fruit. He's releasing the fruit. Oh, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. You will see the glory of God. You will see the glory of God. Because I see the Lord, look at me, man. I see the Lord breaking witchcraft. Witchcraft. You've been going through so much witchcraft contention. So much witchcraft battles in your marriage. There are times, because I'm seeing projects that you're even involved in, and it looks like you're just about to have a breakthrough and suddenly you lose it. And the Lord says, I'm dealing with the witchcraft warfare. He says, I'm breaking the power of witchcraft. And even that which has to do with your family and the contention. The Lord says, tonight, there is deliverance. There is deliverance. There is deliverance. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord says to you, according to the seasons of life, you go and carry your miracle. You go and carry your miracle. He said, the narratives of men have been changed. The utterance of men are canceled today. Jesus. Jesus. Receive a touch. 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 Break. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It is done. 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 Because I looked in the spirit. And I saw Papa carrying your baby. And the Lord says, it is done. It is done. There is a shift. There is a shift. There is a shift. There is a shift. It is done. And even that woman that has been worrying with you in the spirit, the Lord says, today is the end. Today is the end. Because you've had this severally, severally. There's a woman that you fight with. You fight with. I'm seeing a dream that you have not long. And you were chasing after her. You said she took your baby's clothes. Huh? You said she took your baby's clothes. The Lord says, I end that warfare. I end that oppression today. For there is a walking of miracles for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we lift up our hands and just worship the Lord? God bless you. God bless you.